Welcome to River City Live, another great show today. In a little bit, we're gonna head on out to the Publix Kitchen. Chef Tony's here with another great meal that's easy to make, and I look forward to that because we say it all the time. Around this time, we are all very hungry, especially you, because <laughs> you get up so early. We're always hungry, and we're always looking for those easy-to-make family meals that don't cost a whole lot. So Chef Tony is one of the best at really simplifying a meal. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You'll make something and you'll think it has a million ingredients in it. Come to find out it's just this, this, and this. And, and a lot of boom. it's like pre-packaged, kind of ready to go, yeah. which I love. So that's in a little bit. He gets day. me. Yeah, he, he, he gets really all gets of us. us. He, he talks to us, speaks our, our <laughs> language. All right, well, let's keep it on food for just a second, right? Okay. So tonight, NFL, a lot of preseason games. The Jags play tonight. And uh, it kind of gets you excited, right? Because football is here. But there was a study that was... I don't know, conducted about a year or two. It's an older study, but it still holds up, and that is the average person, the average NFL fan, gains about 10 pounds during football season. Isn't that kind of sad? What, well, <laughs> it's sad, but it also makes perfect sense, and the, the, it's attributed to celebration as well as stress. So yes. it's not just a matter of, woohoo, we're having a big party. It's after the fact, like, You're, or you guys are really making me sweat it out. You know, what do you, it, But you know, the other part of it too, it's habits. Do you ever watch a game and not have food in front of you? Nope. I feel like it just, you feel kind of undone doing that. Yeah. So you have to have whatever you're drinking, you know, maybe it's an alcoholic drink, maybe it's just a soda mm -hmm. or something. And then there's an appetizer. And then the other thing is games are about three hours at least, mm -hmm. at the bare minimum. So like that's like a marathon. And so you want to make sure you're stacked with snacks. And that's activity that you're not doing during that time. Right, so, exactly. I mean, it goes hand in hand. Totally worth it. Yep. Nobody's saying it isn't. It's just one of those fats. Well, you know, the other part of that too is if you think about it, most of the foods that you eat during game time meals well, they're not the healthiest of choices. Yeah, I rarely crack open a bunch of edamame when <laughs> yeah, I'm watching exactly. a game. It's going to be, you know, Tostitos. Yeah. It's not going to be the Yeah, like a lot stuff. of things that are battered, dipped, fried. Of course, you know, cheese. <laughs> we say that, and then next week, watch, we'll be doing healthy tailgating. Hold and on, hold know. on a second. <laughs> Let me write that down. We'll call our, our buddy Sammy. All right. Yes. Prepare for that <laughs> next week. <laughs> Speaking of watching, there's a lot of binge watching happening, and you can actually make money if you're the one chosen to binge watch 25 hours of Friends. Yeah, you know, and I was asking about this before the show. Have you watched all the seasons of Friends? Because that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And you made a really good point. It really does hold up. It does. So it's possible. I think I could do it. <laughs> yeah, it's totally worth it. My kids have both binged it. And, you know, you don't think of Friends, at least I don't. I don't think of it as such an old show, but 25 years ago. So they, they're watching it like it's something new. Now, granted, the hairstyles are different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then you know, like the what they wear. Up to here, but but the topics, it, you know, that holds no, up. it's just so funny. And so somebody's going to win $1,000 to sit for 25 hours straight. It's approximately 60 episodes is what it, it, it comes out to. Yeah. And you get you get a Central Perk mug, and you get all this stuff, and it's all brought to you by, I think it's a cable company. Yeah, so um, FrontierBundles.com. And what they're looking for, they're looking for somebody who's very active on Twitter because they want that obviously, person, yeah. obviously, like you know, to talk about their experience and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting to see who all qualifies for this. And I think they're only picking one. But you mm -hmm. never know. Maybe they hedge their bet because it's good content. They I'd, li I'd like to read that Twitter handle of whoever is experiencing 25 years of friends. They should <laughs> pick six people. Three girls and three guys. Oh, oh. There you go. All different personalities, too. Yes. <laughs> you know, no, I a like Monica that. and a Phoebe. But no, it is something, though, out of all the sitcoms out there, I would really like to kind of revisit it because mm -hmm. I don't think I've watched every season, but uh, I think it'd be a good experience. I don't and think it's, you can go wrong with it. No, absolutely. Now, we're talking about Netflix, right? And it's one of those things that we talk about quite a bit, and that is, you know, social media and connecting and disconnecting. Should you ever take a, a break and disconnect? And this is what's interesting, that people who decide to disconnect because they feel like it's better for them, they actually get hit with a ton of anxiety. A lot of times if you're going on a trip and maybe you don't have a good connection anywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting you have, you have, like, withdrawal with not being online. It's, it's also stressful when somebody you know is going on one of these digital detox trips because you know you can't reach them. I know every time my mom goes on one of her cruises, <laughs> I feel very stressed out that I can't reach her if I would need her. I can't imagine why I need my mommy at this point in my life, but you just feel 
strange. And then if you're the one without any resources whatsoever, it can be stressful. But although experts do recommend occasional digital detoxes. Yeah, and then what they say too is after a couple days, you actually feel better about it. Mm -hmm. But here's what happens. When you do get back to reality, if you will, now you're overwhelmed about all the conversations and engagement that you miss. Mm -hmm. So guess what? You're stressed out again. It's the, the it's, circle. You know what's interesting? Getting back from vacation these days, you don't get that rush of incoming because, well, if you're one of the people that checks on a regular right, basis. Right. And that does take the Sunday night blues away a little bit. Yeah. When I know that I'm not going to be walking into a, a big storm <laughs> on a Monday, I'm not as depressed on my last day of vacation as I used to be. Right, right. So there you go. What's the, the right route? You know, do you disconnect? Do you take a breather? Do you uh, just kind of take a couple steps away from it for a, a day, two days? Maybe you're the one who's grabbing phones away from your loved ones and saying, <laughs> we're on vacation. Stop working. Yeah. It's hard. So who knows what to do? Now, let me tell you about somebody you don't want to ever disconnect from, and that